you know, Doc's been having an internal conflict with himself recently, just talking to himself and just trying to talk some things out. But I felt like the only way that I was really going to be able to get this one off my chest is if I made a video, right? So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Another racism video. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Anyways, good to have back again. Once again, let's lock in. Shout out to the IPA, International Passport Association, and affiliates. All the good dice, good books, merch, listen, and links in the description area below. I want to take a moment to really talk to you guys about why some Filipinas and women abroad are still choosing to avoid dating some black men. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're in 2023, and yes, racism still exists. Woo. In some places, it's not as it's probably not as prevalent as it may have been in some parts of the world or back in the day or whatever. But for lack of a better term, it's still there. But I wanted to really dive into some of the reasons why these particular young ladies are still choosing to avoid dating some black men. Now, the internal conflict that I aforementioned or mentioned earlier was you know, you see the situation that's unfolding, passport bros and all this shit with the homie, Austin Holloman. And you hear a lot of people making comments about, oh, the white guys can do it and they can get away with it. But a black guy does it. Oh, my God. Front page news. We had the news and shit about it. Right. And it, it really dawned on me. And I was like, to an extent, I could see exactly where these arguments are coming from, because. There's this dude that I've seen <laughs> recently, an older white guy. I think his young lady is from South America. I saw a couple of um, YouTube shorts that one of the other homies was posted on his page and shit. And when I looked at it, the shit looked cringy as fuck. It was really, ugh. Like, it was like, damn, that shit really does look bad. But not too many people may have said anything about it, you know, to the point where it was grandstanded to the point where it made the news and all of that stuff, right? Showing that there are other groups of guys that are going out there and doing these types of things. Saying to the extent that, you know, this sex pat shit that people want to try to label people as or put labels on certain people, you know, that's not specifically race exclusive, right? Anybody from any racial background, ethnic background, ethnic background, damn, get it together, doc. Can partake in said activity, man. It's not race specific, ethnicity specific, right? Ethnic specific. You know, if you're gonna go over there to other countries and sleep with a bunch of women and deal with prostitutes and all that shit, that could be anybody from any different background. But you know, sometimes it seems to be over embellished if a black guy does it, right? And it's all over oh, now. You see what these guys are going over there, these other countries doing and blah say blah. You know, as opposed to saying, yo, that could be anybody, and not this does not necessarily represent everybody. But that was where my thoughts were. That was the internal conflict. I just wanted to get that part out. Now, getting into what I really wanted to focus on, on some of the reasons why some people are still choosing, some young ladies in foreign countries are still choosing to avoid black men. All right. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, society has told them that black guys are bad. I do believe that society has told the majority of these women abroad that black men in general are just bad. They're negative. Very rarely do you see in the news black men being promoted in a positive light. Let me make sure I say that for all of my fellas in the nosebleeds. Again, very rare do you see black men promoted in a positive light, i.e. the situation that just took place with the homie, right? Now, again, like I said, you know, like I said, it, 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 you, you got to take the good with the bad when it comes with the content you put out. I'll make sure that I note that. But in reality, you see how embellished it was, right? How it had to make the news, my boy. It was a calm. It, you see what I'm talking about. It was just it was over embellished to the point where it really did put a negative light or shine a negative light on black men in general. More specifically, black men traveling to a particular part of the world, i.e. Brazil, right? The media has definitely put it out there that black men are not the ones you want to date. You can ask a bunch of questions. Why is that? Why is it that black men are always perpetuated in a negative life to an extent, right? There are some positive things out there. Let's not say that there's not. But the majority of the time, it just seems to be all negative, right? 
in understanding that some of these young ladies aren't privy to the news in the United States like that. If they have family or relatives or members that live in the United States and I tell them, oh, you shouldn't deal with and or date black men because of this, um, because of the war in Chirac, right? All of the violence happening in Chicago, right? You know, the East Coast, West Coast gang war. I mean, you could come up with a multitude of different things where black men are in the forefront of the negative aspect of what's going on. And that'll be their excuse for why they should avoid us at all costs. Right. Not understanding and knowing that there are a sophisticated group of young brothers, or a sophisticated group of men in general that look like me and some of my brethren out there that really don't perpetuate that negative stereotype about black people. Right. To an extent it does make it difficult for a lot of us to come into these countries and have conversations with these women because they have a preconceived notion because of things that they've seen in the news and or heard about black guys. So for me, the first one is society has told them that black guys are bad. Society has said, you know what? These aren't the guys you want to date. These aren't the guys that you want to have children with. These aren't the guys that you want to be in relationships with. You know, they bring this type of negative energy and they bring this and that society. Social media, I'm just talking about all of it, y'all. Society in general seems to have perpetuated a negative that black guys aren't the one, right? That's number one. Number two, I'm not going to go deep into this one because I don't really think that it's necessary, but colonization in certain areas, more specifically a place like the Philippines, right? During this age of colonizations, I'm sorry, during this age of colonization, you know, we you deal with uh, more specifically Spain conquering the Philippines and how, you know, having whiter skin was now encouraged and all of that stuff and how a lot of the, whatever, man, I don't want to get into it, man. Just say colonization, right? Because I don't want to get into it. But I will piggyback off of colonization because number three kind of feels in with it. That's why I didn't really want to go into it too deep. But number three is they were told that fair skin is the best skin. Right. They were told or encouraged that fair skin was the best skin. Fair skin was the best skin, i.e. having a darker skin complexion like me having a darker skin complexion like the indigenous people that represented the Philippines of past. That was bad. Right. Fair skin, whiter skin. Right. That was more acceptable. That was considered to be high class that was considered to be upper echelon, having this type of skin complexion. So if you were to mate with somebody, even today, oh God, if that baby come out looking dark skin, oh shit, it could be frowned down upon, again, rolling it back to society, right? Society frowning down on the fact that your baby is darker skinned than the rest of them. Get with a white foreigner, it's all good. Baby's likely to come out a little bit on the whiter side, you know, and it's cool. So they were always told fair skin was the best skin. Um, and like I said, that th what I'm saying right now doesn't necessarily affect a lot of people because I'm telling you time and time again, just because there may have been these negative stigmas or negative stereotypes that are floating around about black men, I never had an issue dating in the Philippines or dating when I went abroad, right? Now, I'm not going to say that if you go to other places outside of the Philippines, like your Japan's or your South Korea's, uh, Vietnam, um, China, uh, Brazil, Colombia, certain places like that. Um, you know, that you may not experience some racial issues. I'm not saying that you will not, but what I will say is this. You can't sit there and allow the fact that sometimes people don't necessarily respond positive to you to fuck up your whole identity or to fuck up your whole plans to go somewhere, go abroad and see some shit. Because I promise you, those situations are likely few and far between, Right? It's very rare that you come across a black guy that has been abroad, right? Lived abroad, spent any amount of time abroad that'll say, oh, I never experienced any racial situations a day in my life. It was always good from beginning to end. Very rare when you find a person that will say that. But I want you to really think about this one before I let y'all go on about your business. Think about this one. If it was really enough to fuck up their entire trip or vacation or wherever it is that they were in that country, do you think that they would continue going back and forth to these places? If whatever racial situation they dealt with, do you honestly believe that they would keep going back to it if it really fucked up their whole vibe or if they couldn't get you know, young ladies to respond positive to them in any way, shape or form? Do you think they would still continue to go back to places where they couldn't get women if that was the case? The answer is hell no, right? 
You would rather sit where you at, you know, deal with the women you know, than to sit there and take a chance on women that you've constantly been, you know, receiving negative um, exchanges with or, you know, receiving negative energy, you know, from. So in my heart of hearts, I just wanted to get that one off my chest, guys. I, I don't really want to cry or make this seem like I'm crying about racism and all that shit because I'm not. But I did want to get that off my chest to explain why I feel some of these, that these are some of the reasons why um some women in foreign countries may avoid black men number one what did i say society has told them that dating black men is bad number two colonization we, whatever and number three they were probably shown or told that fair skin was the best skin right having fair skin was the best skin right so dealing with a black guy that's not fairer skin you know darker skin complexion like myself not always the best guy to go with, right? You know, you hear that shit all the time. Nowadays, though, I'm telling you, in 2023, where we are right now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't see a lot of my brethren having issues dating in many of these countries. I'm not going to say all these countries are going to respond positive, but I can say there's quite a few of them that, res the, the overwhelming majority of foreign countries respond positive to black men, right? Now you see the reasons why a lot of guys are choosing to date overseas, right? That's the truth. Outside of all of the expectations that they have for the women that they choose to entangle with or engage with, these are some of the reasons why a lot of guys are choosing to take their talents overseas, right? There's a lot more appreciation that comes with it. There's a lot more respect, probably far more than they've gotten in the good old United States of America, feel me? But that's my time, effort, and energy, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate y'all rocking with the good doc, man. I hope this video finds you well. I hope you take something away from this video, good, bad, or indifferent. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Y'all take care, man. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out.